Okay, so this is pretty cool. This is some um, vinyl car film, pretty much. Um, paid 10 bucks for it. Big old roll. They're coming a little square off right here, and I stuck it to the bed, glass bed. Then I ran print number one. So I had filament that was. The filament called for 190 to 210. And I believe I had it about 215. And I did my first print. So also I measured the film. Film was 0.3 millimeters. So what I did was I just increased my Z offset by 0.3 millimeters. And I did the test print, I uh, set the temperature to 215, and I did the test print, and I got a rough surface, and I have a little bit of the impression, but not much. So, I looked at the film, it wasn't too bad, um, it did have a little couple scratches from when I was playing with the offset, and I cranked my heat up to 225. And I set the Z offset kind of on the fly, and I ended up basically only uh, making up for the film with an extra 0.14 millimeters. So did that at 225, and uh, that was the result. And. Uh, it's not bad and it looks amazing when it sits here on the counter it has this kind of sparkling reflection like carbon fiber has it's just that's hard to believe and i was very skeptical when i was looking at the film because i didn't feel much of a texture on it um, but that is very cool so here's the film i tore off and it got stretched when i was peeling it off the bed and then Ended up on the floor here for a little bit. Um, but yeah, cheap. So my plan is to get two pieces of glass. One the size of the plus, one the size of the five. And then I'm just going to cut some of this off. And make a term permanent. Um, couple of permanent beds that have that texture. And then I'm going to start by probably pretty soon here. I'm going to print some of the covers. Uh, I'm going to reprint the covers for the Ender 3 case. So that's really the side you see on that. And then when you look at it, it's going to have that carbon fiber finish. And another beauty is it won't have to be painted. So, all right, everybody, good luck.